Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the intermediate version of the Friedrich method. Now, before watching this tutorial, I would recommend that you watch my beginner's version tutorial, which will just explain the basics and just get you into the main sort of ways of solving the Rubik's Cube. Because if you watch this version without understanding not a single bit of any beginner's version, you will get really confused. So, that's an important thing, that you should always watch the beginner's version first. So, for those of you who do want to learn the beginner's version before the inter before you continue on in this video, there's a link in the description below to go to my tutorial on how to do the beginner's version. Um, it's a part 3 video, but it shouldn't take you too long. Okay, so for those of you who do know the beginner's version, uh, let's get started with the intermediate. Now, there's actually four new things you should know about the intermediate. Um, it's technically just a bit of a change to some of the stages, and just an extra thing you should know as well. Um, now, with the beginner's version, I went over some things about the moves, about like, or, you know, or, uh, L prime, you know, U2, all that sort of stuff. Um... But, in this tutorial of the Intermediate, there's actually um, some extra things you need to know, such as cube rotations, okay, and double layer turns. Even though the double layer turns uh, are pretty much a single layer turn uh, on the other side, so like, so like this move would be the same as this, except you'd also do a cube rotation at the same time, but that's why it's easiest to do double layer turns, in case you need to do a single layer move and do a... Um, a cube rotation. It'll just save you a lot of time just doing a double layer move. So, um, with the notations in the beginner's version, you would notice the they'd be like things like or and you all that. However, with double layer turns in this tutorial, I will be saying them with the word small beforehand. Now, when I say small, it's like something like small or or small you all that and. What that will tell you to do is you turn the the, the layer that that letter um, is assigned to that that letter that you know, you know the letter is assigned to a face so you turn that face. But when I say the word small before it, you also turn the middle section with it. Okay, so small or is pretty much just like the notation or, but you're moving the middle layer with it. Then L. Sorry, small l. Okay, then there's like small u, and basically you should have a fair idea about the different sort of moves because when when so basically when I say the word small followed by an, a notation, you turn the note you turn the um, the certain part of the cube according to the notation. But if it's a, I say the word small before it, turn the middle layer with it. Okay, so just practice this. So once you understand the beginner's version notations, um, you should actually have a, a good fair idea. And this is what I mean by that you should have gone over the beginner's version first. Um, so when I said the word small beforehand, turn the middle layer with it. So like U, okay, um, D, or small D, sorry. Um, you know, like, and L, L, small L prime and small U2, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so that should give you a good fair idea. Okay, um, now as well as that, um, there's also like extra stages and like not really extra stages but improved parts of the stages, let's just say. So I'll be giving extra hints, um, mainly tips I would really say for um, the, cr the cross and a couple of changes when it comes to like like stage 5 and stage 6 which are you know orientation the yellow face and permuting the corners respectively so that's basically what I'll be covering in stage 5 and stage 6 okay so hopefully that you should have a good fair idea about what I mean by extended moves now I did mention about cube, ro cube rotations now cube rotations are usually uh, assigned to certain the one of the last um, few letters like X, Y, and Z. Now X, Y, and Z would kind of be related, like by an axis, if you want to think of it that way. Um, 
So if I say X, what you're going to do is that the face on the bottom here is going to end up as your right, as your your front face. Okay. So the whole cube is rotating, sort of on its X X X axis. Uh, um, okay. So the front face comes to the top, and the bottom face becomes the front. Okay. So it's revolving 90 degrees in OR. So OR is just by doing the move OR. Sorry, X is like doing the move OR, but the whole cube. Okay, then there's x prime, which is just like doing or prime, but the whole cube. And as you may know, there's an x and x two, which is just like doing r two, but the whole cube. Okay, so it's a bit of a fair enough idea. So x is is kind of the moves to do with or. Now y is to do with the up face. So y, if I say the word y, or the letter y, that it's just doing the same move as u, except the whole cube. Okay, so. So y is turning the whole cube 90 degrees in the same direction as u, then u prime, the same sort of way. Then there's u2, sorry, u2, um, y2, sorry, which is by turning, doing u2 but the whole cube. And then finally there's z, which is assigned to the front face as well, so z is is turning the whole cube in the same direction as F. Then there's Z prime turning it uh, basically in the same direction as F prime. And there's Z Z two, which is uh, you know rotating uh, the whole cube the same direction as F two. Okay, so basically you should now understand about the extended moves, which are double air turns and cube rotations. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the practical, the main bits of the solving, okay? So just stage one, like an extended part of main improvement to stage one, which is tips, which is um, intermediate tips for solving the cross, okay? Okay, so stage one. Now, as you may know in the beginner's version, we picked a center, put it on the top, found the four edges that contained the collar on the top, and just got them into the correct position and flip. Now, with the intermediate version, it's somewhere like that as well, except there's a little bit of a change. What you can do instead is instead of doing the cross on top, you can try and start to get used to doing it on the bottom. Okay? Um, and this will save you time because with a lot of cubers that you'll be like solving the cross, flipping over the cube, doing the corners, middle layer, so on and so on. Um, and it'll just be a bit of a pain having to do that one flip, which might cost you, say, a tiny split of a second. Uh, but it will just help with, with getting that slight bit ahead. Um, so, first of all, uh, as well as being able to know about giving a good flip over, just so you're doing the cross on the bottom, which will help to speed you up, there's a few tips that you can actually do that will, with, that will help you get pieces into place. Now... We already have one piece into place, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, now, as we can see around the place, that we have a piece in its correct position but wrong flip. There is actually a four move algorithm that can be used to flip this, and and it uses double air turns, like I showed you in the extended moves. So, so if you have a piece in its correct position but wrong flip. Hold it. Hold the hold the um the face on the right, and do R prime U. So small U. R prime, small U prime. Okay. And if you look back, it's in the exact same position, except in the, in, it, in it, except it's it's been flipped. So that's a, an interesting four uh, four move algorithm that will actually flip the piece. Okay. So. That's just a simple, that is actually very quickly, so you're going to have to flip up, move it to the side, then just do a couple of animal moves to get it down, which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, and then a 5, maybe, if this piece is in the wrong place. But even though I know it's about the same amount of moves, but it's actually a lot quicker, because it's like um, doing like an or, u, or prime, you know, in one way, which is actually a lot faster. So, it is kind of close to that. Now... In this case here, it's kind of the same, except as if it being on the bottom, it's on the top. Now, instead of having to do a U or prime F 
you, sorry, or, instead of having to do that, um, you can kind of do the algorithm that was used to flip this around, except that it's a little bit on a different way, okay? Um, so you start off by doing or small u or prime small u prime. So it actually flips the piece as it's coming down, okay? So we have a piece there, there, and there. And a final case that you can come across is when you have, like, a piece that's in the middle layer. Now, um, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make one of that because I thought I actually had it in place, but moved it out by accident. Okay, so for example, like this. Now, if it's in the middle layer, and say if, say, this, the color, like, in this case, the red-white piece that, as you can see, the red-white piece is next to the red center, but but in a different wrong flip so it would be easy to do that but we don't have that sort of you know way of doing things right now but there is actually a, about um, a very quick way to do this instead of having to bring it up to the top move it over move this piece down and you have a flip three moves right so what you do is this color here in this case the red whatever center it's lined up with the edge starts going into move that over here Right, because because as you can see, um, there's red and white here, so the red white piece has to go between into this spot. The red white piece itself is here. It's lined up with the blue center, so we move the red white piece's edge slot under the blue center, move it into place, and move it back, so it doesn't disturb any of the other four centers. Okay, um, and that's mainly by doing it on the bottom. Okay, so basically what you should learn from this is, in order to kind of speed up a bit, um, instead of doing your cross on the top, try it on the bottom now, and you should understand a few new uh, tips and hints and tips to um, actually go into faster. So a form, a, so form of algorithms, I can get a piece that's flipped up here or here into a correct place, and a quick, about three moves to get a piece into position if it's in the middle layer, okay? So keep on practicing that and hopefully you should be extremely quick at the cross, okay?